Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. What are we talking about today? Well, um, in the most recent video I did, which was talking about the Revival Swimsuit Pickup Summons, I saw that there was a decent amount of people who were saying like, Hey, where are the other ones that are not on this list and who are not on this banner? Because I would have definitely summoned for them. So I figured I'd go ahead and actually track down and tell you oh, where those units are and what are the actual likelihood of any of them coming up pretty soon. Um, it looks like for the most part it's... <laughs> spoilers, it doesn't look like many of them are going to be any surprises really. So, you know, either way, information for if you want to know. But it's good to kind of know this stuff ahead of time, especially with the way NA has kind of gotten a little gung-ho with just re returning banners that were unexpected. So that's going to be today's video, and I hope you like it. So, first of all, let's talk about the dudes who were not on this banner, and we'll run them down. From Summer 1, it is Summer Mordred, and it is the um, Mary, <laughs> Mary Reed and Anne Bond, which I've called the Yuri Pirates in, in this notes that I took right here. For Summer 2, who's missing is Summer Nero, uh, Summer Fran, and Summer, Summer Naito, and Summer Nobu. For Summer 3, we're obviously missing Jean, we're missing Ushi, and we're missing Ibaraki. And for Summer 4, we're missing Okita. For Summer 5, we are missing the entirety of them. And that's a pretty easy closed shut case on where those units are. But let's start with Summer 1. So this is going to be uh, very easy because this is where a lot of them are. If you're wondering, hey, where's Summer Mo? Where's Summer Jean? And where's Summer Fran? The answer is look towards... Dum -da -dum -dum -dum. Bum -ba -dum -dum -dum. Don't make me look like a dum dum. Right here in the Fate Apocrypha Blu ray disc box and OST release commemorative campaign, which I'm pretty sure we have never gotten in um, NA. At least I don't remember us getting this, but to be fair, I don't remember much about Apocrypha other than the event itself that had a story that I thought was much better than actual Fate Apocrypha. Uh, what was I talking about? Anyway. Uh, in this one, this has a summoning campaign, and on this summoning campaign, you're going to have... It has Summer Jean, it has Summer Fran, and it has Summer Mordred right there on the cover, along with uh, Bunny Ostolfo, or Saber Ostolfo, Semiramis, uh, Amakasu, and a bunch of... Oh, just basically anyone that was in APOC, unless they're a Bronze Servant, so no Spartacus and no... Um, uh, Shakespeare. I don't know why I blanked on Shakespeare's name there for a bit, but there you go. That's where they can be, and they are going to be located, let's see, from where it is right here. This looks like a late October, uh, but to be 100% real with you, I d don't know if we're going to get this. I don't know. Usually when it, it comes to stuff like this, usually they find an excuse because we have to get the CE related to it. So I don't know if there's anything like Apocrypha related that is coming out pretty soon, but I would assume it would tie into that, to be honest with you. Um, or maybe they'll just come up and say like, actually, here you go. We actually decided to release them early, but then that doesn't make sense with the, a lot of the other Apocrypha dudes who are on this banner. I don't know, but either way, uh, something to worry about close to the end of October. For the most part, almost no one is really thinking too far ahead on terms of this one. Because uh, everyone will have already lost their St. Quartz to Summer. And the ones who do still have it are waiting till the end of December to potentially use it. But anyway, that's where they, those three are. So that's three of them accounted uh, for. Let's talk about the other ones. So over in Summer 1 land, the Yuri Pirates. That one's easy. They're already here. <laughs> They're in the other pre-release campaign. If you wanted to summon for them, they're right here. So there you go. Uh, that's easy. Some of these, again, are very easy. Where's Summer Nero? That's uh, also another easy one, because we just recently had a banner with Summer Nero on it, so they didn't want to bring her back for this one, which is completely understandable. Where is this? Is the Summer Nero banner with us in the room right now? There it is. Summoning campaign, here you go. It was related to Nero Fest, and so, of course, Summer Nero came back because that is a five-star Nero. So very unlikely that she's going to be coming back anytime soon unless they decided to just bring her back near the end of October. And when does they expect her to come back? Well, they expect her to come back sometime around in two years from now. Is it really two years from now? That is crazy if that is. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five. 
There it is. For the Nero Fest Battle in New York 2022 Summon Campaign. That's when that is expected for Summer Nero to come back. And honestly, that feels like that's a long time. So I wouldn't be surprised if this ban if this unit actually just randomly showed up um, in between those times. That's almost a two-year difference. That's gotta be, yeah, that, that's almost guaranteed in my mind that she's showing up for this. She's gonna be showing up way earlier than, than that, I think. That seems pretty likely to show up next year. But anyway, I digress. Actually, would she be on another banner? Actually, I'm gonna check to see it, but I think she might be on a banner that's coming up sooner than that. But we'll check it real soon. But that's where Summer Nero is right now. For Summer Nobu, that one's another very easy one, because Summer Nobu is coming up in November with the Guda Guda Close Call. Uh, did I actually? Okay, yeah, no, I kicked on the right one. She's in, I believe, Summoning Campaign 1, which is right here, featuring Izuno no Okoni, uh, who I've completely butchered the name of. Don't worry, I already know. Izzo and Mori. And you, here you go. There's Nobunaga. So if you wanted to summon for the summer version, she's going to be right here along with... Uh, this is actually kind of a great banner for just, like, limited dudes because Mori is crazy hard to get and limited. Izzo is crazy hard to get and has, like, 57 different um, Spiriton dresses because he is everyone's favorite uh, dog boy. And uh, Nobunaga, a summer unit in general, is hard to get, so this would be a good chance to just pick up that Nobu. And this is a new unit that I don't know much about, but I'm willing to learn about her when the story actually comes in. But there you go. That's where Summer Nobu is. Where is the next one on the list? And this is where... Oh, yeah. I may as well have just kept looking because she's on here, too. Uh, do 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 if you're wondering where Summer Okita is, she's in this banner too, <laughs> in Summoning Campaign 2, with Ryoma and Demon King Nobunaga, along with Izzo and Mori. There you go. If you wanted to get Oki Okita J. Soji, now that she can actually loop and it doesn't have to worry about stunning herself, I'm pretty sure we have this buff already in here, the one that fixes her main issue. We should get this one, or at least we should have it treated as... Or is it in her NP? Which one? 60% chance of stun self. Uh, I could have sworn that she had something that removed her ability to get. Them. Am I just not reading this right? Uh, Jesus, buff mix. Uh, I get. Mm, am I just crazy? I could have swore they got rid of the thing that made her stun herself. But maybe I'm wrong this entire time? Never mind. Either way, this helps her with looping. With the same with the same issue being the same as it's always been, which is that she has a 60% chance to stun herself. Either way, that's enough. That's Okita. That's where you can find her. Feel free to tell me, because I feel like I'm losing my mind. I could have swore they got rid of that stun ability, but maybe I'm just crazy. Uh, doing, 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 doing. uh, next, and this is where a vast majority of them are going to be, which is all the Summer 5 units, Ibaraki, Nida, Naito, this is where all of them are going to be showing up. Um, and that is for, uh, Road to Lost Belt 7, or not Road to Lost Belt 7, is Road to Year 7. That is when you would expect them next. Where is it? Somewhere here. It's a banner with just like a buttload of them on it. Come on, I know you're here somewhere. Am I really gonna have to look up the specific? I could have. What? Am I crazy? All right, one moment. <laughs> Let me pause real quick to find the exact date for when it happens. There, there we go. Okay, finally found it. Here we go. There's two of them. That's why it was getting me confused. But here we go. We have this one, which is related to the seventh anniversary countdown campaign, which is where we're gonna find a vast majority of the summer units because this is from summer 2016. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2022. So there you see returning Summer Kiara, Tamoy, Ilya, uh, Brunhilda over here. Along with Ibaraki right here. But no, um, Naito right here. And uh, you'll see that some of them are missing, but that's because they're on this banner, which is the actual anniversary banner. And on this one, there's a daily summoning campaign related to them. And this one has Nero. Um, Musashi over here, Ushiwakamaru, and Shikabu on it. And that's where the rest of them are. And at that point, that's all of them accounted for and kind of put to, to rest at that point. Um, 
And yeah, that's where you'll find the rest of them. So if you're curious about where they are and when they're going to be showing up, I think the only one you really have to worry about is... And so I was right. So Summer Nero does show up. So ignore everything I said about the Nero Fest return. Because she's actually coming back here and then she'll come back later. And I think from this point on, you don't have to worry about... I actually think based off of this, unless it's Thanksgiving, I don't think you have to worry about a single summer unit returning unexpectedly. I think the Thanksgiving is about the last time we'll ever have to worry about one of those type of banners that just kind of jump scare you. Um, Thanksgiving, I'm saying, is an exception to the rule because it is so weird how we do them. And you can never tell what units are actually going to be on it. So it's always a surprise. But there you go. If you're curious about all of them, that's where you can find them all. Uh, so if you're someone who is saying, like, I really want Summer Mo, you're going to have to wait for APOC, which is in October. You're going to have to wait just a little bit more if you want Nobu or Okita. And if you want the rest of them, it's going to be an even longer wait from that. You're basically going to be saving until the 7th year anniversary. And by that point, you're going to not want to summon on them because you're going to be pretty close to the new summer. So the cycle begins anew. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I wanted to just do a quick video. I wanted to release it way sooner, but I've been way too busy with work because work has been uh, on my ass for a while here. So I wanted to make sure I made this video before I ended up doing a summon video with it later on with my brother. And hopefully you found this a little bit useful. And if you did, you can always leave a like. You can always comment down below. Tell me what summer unit you are most looking forward to. And if I made any mistakes, feel free to correct me. I really, I read all that stuff. Uh, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Okay, a little bit of the pronunciation one's kind of cut deep. I'm just kidding. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I know my uh, way of pronouncing character names is not correct. You kind of just got to live with it, though, when it comes to that. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. And until next time, I wish you guys the best of luck in your summons. And hopefully, my summer summons go really well. Till next time, everyone. I'll see you guys later. Peace.